Hello everyone, it's been a long time since the last one-off video that was not a one-off impressions video, but here at the end of the year, at the end of 2018, we're gonna close off the year with another one-off kinda sorta special standalone video. All the way back on March 3rd, 2018, in my one year anniversary of Nintendo Switch Mini Retrospective video, I promised that there would be a special Splatoon 2 video before the end of the year. Well, this is that video. Here we are in Splatoon 2, but it's offline. Now, what that means in this case is we are not going to do the Octo Expansion, as my Octo Link would have you believe. Instead, we're going to return to Marie over there and go back to the single player content, the original single player content that began, that came out when the game first launched. So let's hop back, let's hop right in, and I will explain on the other side. Now sadly, as this is Agent 4's story, I am not able to play as my Octoling, which is kind of unfortunate, because I do feel like going with the male inkling to start off the game with when it first came out kind of soured the game for me a little bit, because his, like, his expressions and his personality were not as cool and as interesting as the girl uh, inklings, and then the Octoling came along and sort of revived all that. But, I played as him throughout the entire single player, so we're going to keep him here as we do today's video. Now first up, before we go any farther, I never actually talked to Callie after she was added via the, uh, I think it was the 3.0 expansion, so let's do that real quick. Oh, uh, hey Agent 4, it's Callie, remember? I tried to kill you? Yeah, sorry about that, but I'm back on the up and up, promise. In any case, the Squid Sisters and the new Squid Beak Splatoon are ready to roll. I gotta hang out here until Gramps and Agent 3 come back from whatever it is they're doing. Seriously, where did Gramps wander off to? Uh, he's in the sewers under the city? Oh, never mind. Now she tells these stats about online play, doesn't she? Oh, I really like your kimono, Marie. I always thought you was more of a sweatpants type for some reason. Uh, thanks? Oh, I'll see you I still have my kimono at home. We can be the kimono cousins. Okay, so we'll just kind of leave the stats to be a mystery, I suppose. So, today's video is completion, 1000% completion, as, as the app puts it, not as I put it, of the single player content. I have completed every single, here, I'll show you right here, I guess. I've completed every single proper level with all of the weapons, but what I have not done is finished all of the bosses with all of the weapons. I've eaten all of the bosses with the regular shot, the roller, the uh, scope, I always forget the name, it's the splatter shot, what am I doing? And the splat dualies, but then the brella, the splatling, the blaster, the slosher, and the ink brush, one each per boss I have not finished with. So, we're gonna go do each boss, we're gonna finish them off with the one weapon I haven't finished them off with yet, and that will get us a thousand percent completion as well as unlocking all the remaining hero weapons. Whoops, why didn't I leave that menu? Because I gotta jump straight to the first boss! First boss! Industrial Toast into the Octo Oven! We have the Splat Brella we gotta do it with. And for most of these, I have a reason for why I left that weapon for that boss for this video. This one is just kind of because the Brella was the only weapon left. So this first one doesn't really have a reason. Yeah, so we're just gonna go for it. I suppose it kind of makes sense, it's sort of an average weapon for the first boss, so not really much of a challenge to start off with. Four hundred and twenty-five degrees of pain. The Octo Oven. Looks like the tentacle up there is the source of the trouble. First boss, standard fare. Not really going to be all that tough, especially not if you've seen the game before. The ends of the loaves look deadly. That's why I never eat the end slices. I forget what the end slices are even called, but I swear they have some sort of designated name for them. I'm gonna put that in in editing. Anyway, up top, pop the tentacle. Not that bad, especially not especially easy with the, uh, shotgun capabilities, basically, of the, uh, Brella. Also, I can't ignore those puns. Donut, stop. You need to keep going. 
Oh, he is apparently a pun master. Second phase! Ooh, churros! Wait, no, this is column swing. But there are fewer walls on the oven to climb now. Oh boy. There we go. And by the way, I guess I should address this, because this is, uh... Oh, hello. This is, frankly, significantly easier than the Octo Expansion, but I have done pretty much everything in the Octo Expansion already on my own time, so that's not gonna get done in this video. Good, but donuts start loafing around or things might go awry. My god, Chugga Conway would love this woman. Final checkpoint! Wait, armor bread? But armor on bread? Oh gosh, I did not see that popping out right there. Okay. Uh, some kind of glazing machine has appeared. Yeah, you gotta glaze the ground so that the, uh, so that the walls on the bread can make toast the bread better. I wonder how, how efficiently or inefficiently we're putting armor on bread and toast the bread in actual ovens. I feel like someone actually needs to try this. Alright, one more pop. Like it's no big deal at all. This guy is indeed toast. One more bad pop. And get all our eggs, get the, uh, I already forgot what that's called, Sardinium, that's what it is, and get the fish. Or, or not, hang on. There we go, now get the fish. And now we should have Sheldon calling us up. Yep, let's see if I can get a good Sheldon voice. It looks like you've used the hero umbrella here, there, and everywhere. I've got all the data I need. I'm ready to go to retail with this bad boy. That means you can take it into turf war. Once I complete it and get it approved, I'll sell it at my shop in Coppola Square. This is my favorite part. I'm gonna go get to work. Thanks to your efforts, I've got all the data I need for this location. Try out different weapons in other areas and we'll be rolling in more data in no time. Here's a little something for helping me with my test. Go get your reward. You earned it. Right, you get the ticket for doing all the weapons in every, uh, every level. Okay, so we got that. We also got this flat Brella, the hero Brella replica in the stores now. So now we pop this balloon, and we're gonna go ahead and hop to the second boss. Don't worry, I'll cut this out for the further the other bosses. The showdown, fear the Octo Samurai. This one, we have got the ink brush left to do. Because we're gonna make it a true melee versus melee battle the second time through since I've already used the roller. Let's do it. You know, I'm not I'm not really a fan of the uh like the way Agent 4 enters the arena or enters the level. I honestly prefer how Agent 3 did with his waggly arms. Splats with honor, Octo Samurai. All right, I've barely used an ink brush outside of single player, so let's see. Smoke this clown, Agent Four, for the honor of your family or something. I'm almost out of ink already. Gotta be careful. Okay, let's recover. It's the latest in Octarian weapon technology, the Octo Cycle. Okay, that's just ridiculous. Did I mention I'm not good with the ink brush? Okay. Now he's taking a break. Get out of the way. Oh, shoot. Okay, we're still good. Whale on him. There we go. When he takes enough damage, he's knocked back. That gives you a window to do a little bit more damage. Oh, hello. The tentacle engine for whale on it. I don't know why I'm inking more on the way down, since all the ink gets cleared between the phases. No, oh, he's learned how to vertical swing! Oh, Carp, this sucker's not messing around. Forgot about that move. Ah, right, you wanna stop that? Oh, stop this big move! That stance, look out for a spin attack. Okay, I'll, I'll watch out for his dead spin attack. Bring the pain!
You know, I'm only now remembering that you actually you still have bombs during bosses, but I've never used them. I, maybe I'll. What, what? Next boss is that one. That's not gonna help though. Let's do a quick bomb against this guy. I know I said melee versus melee, so bombs are kind of cheating. But we'll do a quick one just to see how how hard it hits. Right, we got, he, get ready. Looks like he's playing something nasty. Oh boy, he's doing this move. Rush helps a lot with that, but now I'm out of ink for the bomb. There we go. Here we go. Oh, did not do as much as it should have. Stick with the up close. Stick with the melee. Beat the heck out of him. Beat the corp out of him. Now let's push this back. Now we did for end it. I actually do like the concept of that boss, showing that even the, Oct the Octarians have little ghosts of themselves they can respawn. And the next boss takes us to... Lips for Days, the Octostomp Returns! This one I have the blaster left to do, and this one I figured I'll leave the blaster for last because the this boss kind of, sort of, punishes you for being close to it. So let's use a weapon where you have to get close. That being said, this is probably going to be the least efficient run in the entire video, because I am awful with the blaster, even with this upgraded one that, like, fires faster and whatnot. I'm back! Octo Stomp! Oh gosh, this is already slow. Wait, I know this guy. It's Octo Stomp. Octo Stomp? But didn't Agent 3 take him down years ago? I guess he's back for more. You've got this Agent 4. Oh, nope. Start shooting. As long as he starts shooting before he, get, before he uh, gets up, then he'll stay down. And he's got a new trick up his sleeve this time. It's a belt buckle! And I brought this sweet new coat, Neo Octostomp. Unthinkable. His armor is completely uninkable and a Gatling gun. Gotta hand it to these Octarians. They sure do know how to go big. Oh, stop that. That's an unfair advantage. You can't do that. Please nerf. Okay, shoot. Dodge to the side when he tries to face stomp you. Get a couple of direct impacts. There we go. Uh, he's not bringing out the uh, Gatling gun yet. Uh, this is a bit of a tricky position, though. Oh, I'm down all the way down here. Best I can do is get a couple of explosion impacts, or he can just do that again. Okay, sure. That works too, I guess. Uh, uh, okay, wow, he really just wants me. Also, why is this already even down here? It's kind of cheap, honestly. There we go. See? If this already wasn't down here, this would be a lot harder. Nice work. You can ink his body now. I'm right, gonna have to do it one more time. And I forgot, he actually does not break off pieces of the side. There we go. Get on out there. Three! The Nintendo rule of three. Three hits means death. Also, the Nintendo rule of three, when possible, adds three faces to something. God! This dude just threw two more faces! Oh gosh! Okay. I'm gonna try and not seize this phase by jumping off the side this time. Hi! Wanna stop that? Oh boy! Okay, well, at least I'm trying to play legit this time. Get a couple more shots in. Okay. Alright, so maybe let's cheese a little bit. Got it. Hi, I'm back. How are you? Get out of the way. So oh, what? That still got me? Really? Shoot. If the side's no good, dodge backwards. Alright, stay close to the side. Yep, I gotta cheese it! I didn't want to, but I have to. So I'm not gonna keep not getting a game over on this. Hello. Stop that. 
because I actually did get like two game overs on one particular stage, and I don't remember the name of it. It's like the uh, Experimentorium, I think it is. Because there's one specific part where. Almost! Oof, close one. There's one specific part, there we go, in that level where you have to use a blaster and shoot to those uh, grappling hook things that have been in one of the past Splatfests. But if you miss, you fall to your death, and it's a very precise shot, so it's very easy to miss. And so it's very easy to get two game overs like I did. Rest in peace, those legs. Oh, wow, really? This didn't get inked? Okay. The best legs Splatoon 2 will ever see. With a total of three food tickets and three hero replica weapons out of the way from the past three bosses, let's make that four with Sanitizarium, the Octo Shower. This one, that's not the correct button. This one, we gotta do with the Slosher. Because he's gonna try and clean us, so let's try and clean him with a bucket. And I'm gonna let you know right now, this is probably gonna be the longest boss in the entire video. <laughs> Cleanser of Inklings, the Octo Shower. And this is, like I said, probably gonna be the longest boss in the entire video. For, uh, well, the main reason being, there's a lot of ways to get up there and hit the, uh, three little Octolings that are carrying him. But I find most of them are not reliable in the slightest. Like this. Let me jump up here, hit them, and I can hit them. That's, no, okay, okay, that's fine. Don't stand under when the shower goes full blast or you're sunk. So you can get up there, you can throw ink in that direction, but you can't do it reliably enough to actually do something. Like there, even then, I gotta get multiple bounces to actually hit anything, and then he moves away. Now, oh, let's hide first. And now, the Rolonium right here. See? Look at that! That was almost a direct shot, but he moves out of the way. If he didn't move, maybe that would be easy. But because he moves, it's significantly harder. So I'm going to wait for him to move to a certain spot. And then I'm going to go with the most reliable way that i found. Uh, we're there. Stay there, buddy. This is the most reliable way i found. Because if he's in the right spot, it takes you right past him. There you go. Oh, nice! And the got that. <laughs> I guess I'll just awkwardly be a squid on the way to the ground. Yeah, I did not expect to pop the last octoline and hit the tentacle while I was on the ink rail. But that is the most reliable way I've seen to uh, break the Octolings from up there. I keep saying, I keep saying Octolings, it's Octarians. The Octolings are the playable ones. Bring those Octocopters down. He has some sort of handbrake cannon. Talk about low tech. Low tech or not, make sure you don't get hit by it. There we go. Got a couple more hits in, and then he moves. Uh, oh boy. Okay. I don't want to take your bath, sir. You want to pull out a gun or something and shoot me? Now's the time, because I gotta hit you. Oh, there we go. Can I get it again? Not quite. Oh, got it on the way down, though. Flambe well, this fool. One more hit, but now it gets annoying. Now they know how to dodge. Alright, the octocuffles are moving faster. You got him on the ropes. It's got a stingray! That thing cuts through walls! Now, at least with the other, like, shorter range weapons and more accurate weapons, like the splatter scope, or, and scope, splatter shot and the blaster and all that, this how this fight takes forever! I don't know, I don't even know how long it took me to do this with weapons like those. Uh, nope, can't even get that. This one is safe enough to be a battle of attrition right now. 
Get at least a couple. Nope. Couldn't even get a couple. Oh, what the heck? Oh, he passed right over me. There we go. Get a couple of them at least. Now, I'm not as experienced. Oh, get out of the way. Oh, hello. I'm not as experienced with the Sloshers either, but at least I, I'm a little bit better with these than with the Blaster. Yeah, there was no chance on that. I just kind of panicked. Okay, let's poop a little bit. And let's line up a shot. Go for it! Wow, I actually got one. That is rare in this boss fight. Oh, I've lost track of him! Hello! Oh, did you have to go back over here? Come on. Go to the ink rails. Oh, still, see, look, that still missed. I thought that was dead on. Hey, can you come over here, please? So I can... Oh, that's not good. Send help. Oh, gosh. All right, fine. I'll be safe up here for a little bit, at least. It's more ink down trying to escape route. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better. You really need to go away, and you really need to get to a better position. What? How many missiles are you going to throw at me? Come on, now. Here we go. Now he's moving over here. Let's go. Oh, come on, now. Really? And they're going to dodge it, too. Ah, I panicked. Well, if he can move a little bit closer to me right now, that would help a lot. He's doing the thing again. He's not even close to the ink rail this time. Here, have a bomb. That's not going to hit you in the slightest. This is probably my best bet right now. There we go. Got him. Oh, wow. And took him down almost immediately, too. Alright, well, let me just clean up a little bit of his mess real quick. And that's good enough. Alright, well, only about four and a half minutes there. Oh, don't forget the, don't forget the sardinium. Only about four and a half minutes. Not quite as long as I thought, and it's actually going to be shorter than the final boss, but still a bit longer than I would have liked. And now it's on to the final boss. Bomb Rush Blush. Tide Goes Out. We are going to be using the Splatling, because it's the biggest boss in the game, so we're going to need the biggest gun in the game. Let's complete this thing. Mess him up, Agent 4. Wait, seriously? Why are you here, Callie? We already rescued you! Wow, she defected fast. You're just in time for the encore performance! Uh, why would you put those stupid brainwashing sunglasses back on? They look good on me, okay? No one throws shade at my shades and gets away with it! Hey, DJ! DJ Octavio fe featuring Kelly, Octobot King 2. <laughs> I really missed Kelly's ring, and now I'm gonna remix your face! Let's hit it with a hit single, Bomb Rush Blush! Peep this! Oh, I just love these shades, they're so fresh! Simple enough, shoot the fists back at him! There we go! Octavio, stop hitting yourself, stop hitting yourself! You've got to avoid his spinning punches. Oh, boy. Now, as you may see throughout the rest of this fight, I do... Oh, no. Faces blush or rush hitting. Bombs explode. No time to think. I'm, I'm bad at singing. I apologize. As you may notice throughout this fight, there's going to be some dialogue that references that this is a refight. I really appreciate that. It's actually really cool how they uh, write it so that for the people who try to complete it like us, so that you get more dialogue out of a single fight. Octavio, tournament to Calamari. Oh, I just realized that mine and Callie's names... Uh, actually, now is not the time. 
This thing's shooting way farther than I thought it would. I can't remember if that's an upgrade or if... Dang it. Okay, still got that at least. Can't remember if that's a single player upgrade or if that's just normal. So, knock it all back. Okay, this is still fine. We're good. Now, fry this room. Nice homing missile. Hey, no fair. Hmm, this fight reminds me of a certain splat fest. <laughs> Shut it, Grandma! DJ, don't step your game up! Oh, we're back to the puns, okay. <laughs> don't let up, Agent 4. And now he's raising up into the air. I've heard this song before. Oh boy, right, forgot about that. Let's at least get this one, there we go. By the way, since we're about midway through the fight, or not even midway, I suppose. Oh, it's his calamari bomb things. I'm not sure what they're actually called. I wonder if the wiki has a name for these. Oh boy! Uh, next time we fire it off, take a look at his uh, his left, our right fist. The one I'm about to shoot at. Doesn't that look like it says taco? Like if the C is turned 90 degrees, but that totally says taco. Are tacos a common food in this platoon world? Oh, whoops. I know that Krusty Sean makes some weird food, but I don't think tacos are one of them. Dodge to the side, but he uses a shower attack. Before. Just keep keep hitting him until I show up. Got an ink more this ground here. And here come the suction bombs. Octavio needs a new set list. Oh, dang it! Oh, got a boat still. Fun to this fool. There we go. One round from the uh, splat lane. I'm here. Oof. No again, the hypno shades. Callie, forget about those stupid sunglasses. Uh, now Agent Four, while Callie is stunned. End DJ Octavio's career. Yeah, double time, more beat downs for me. Got it. Ooh, hello, dash punch. This is this is actually something I'm happy that's in this game that was missing a little bit from the first game. Is Callie and Marie? Oh boy, Callie and Marie physically being at the final fight. Sure, you could hear them in the final fight in the first game, but you never actually saw them. I would have loved to see that. Although I suppose something else I would have liked to see from them that we never got is uh, like them in their squid forms. I would love to see the, see the actual game developer's interpretation of their squid forms. Hello. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, same goes for uh, Pearl and Marina. Actually, hello. Not quite that easily, buddy. You're doing your race up again. There we go. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Kelly, you are not staying fresh right now. Oh. Not shower again. Moving. There we go. I do also woo, move that. Really like how we got the two competing songs going right now. I, I think I think true to the name of the actual boss fight, this is actually both Bomb Rush Plus and Tide Goes Out playing at the same time. Oh boy. Take those down. Is it is it possible to take out all of those calamari bombs in one cycle? Curate this punk. Because I've never seen that happen. Ow, you got ink right in my eye! The low tide ink is working. Callie's coming too. Callie, remember! The world's reflected in our songs. And our songs are reflected in the world. I, I remember! I'm back! I don't dare speak over this part, just enjoy it.
That was an impressive wardrobe change, by the way. Bringing in a new weapon, getting rid of the Splatling for the Rainmaker. Agent 4, that's the super modded Rainmaker! You know how to use it, right? Hold ZR to increase pressure, then let go to fire it! Now make it rain! Well, I've never played the actual ranked mode, so thank you for teaching me how to do it. I didn't want to do this, but it's time to do the prophecy base! Look, I know you DJs recycle old content for a living, but at least get some new dialogue. Here we go! That's the other charge up, throwing me here and let her rip! Can't fire on him directly, but I love doing it anyway. Oh boy! Mm. Now, if you can't deflect the punch jump over, here we go! Okay. Fun fact on top of getting a game over at the Experimentorium, I also got a game over here. Why? Because right there, if that punch had hit me even when it was glowing green, it still would have hurt me. I did not expect that the first time I played, so that constantly tripped me up. Enough to the point where I lost all three lives and got a game over. So technically, this, so this boss technically was the hardest in the game for me. Also, I forget if I said it before, but this time I wait, hang on, hang on. Let's not get to a certain point. A shot. There we go. Oh, dodge. Okay. Now I'm gonna shut up for the music. Said, Flat your split sisters, I can't resist your puppy groove. Oh, yeah, Bo, oh, hello, missed that one. So, have you ever had a time when there's an original version of a song and a remixed version of the song, and you can't decide which one is your favorite out of the two? Because this is kind of one of those times for me. I love the original Calamari incantation, but this remix is also really good as well. Very happy the Calamari Incantation made it into the new Smash, by the way. Oh, and he's down! He's going down! He's falling! In a ride rail! Let's go! And I gotta admit, I love this nice touch. Jump! Slam it down! Again, so sad. Cross fate to black. And with this, the single player content in Splatoon 2 is a thousand percent complete. Sadly, there does not seem to be any sort of completion reward for a thousand percent. So, unless I missed some sort of, uh, ticket or something- Yeah, I think tickets are the only other collectibles, and those aren't necessarily tracked. But unless I missed one of them, that is a thousand percent completion in the Octo Canyon. So, let's shoot up DJ Octavio a little bit, then reflect it. And then, we're gonna go to the staff credits while we end off the video. Just have a nice little backing song while I close out the video. So, for those of you who watched this far into the video, I would like to say, of course, thank you for watching. For those who have stuck with me throughout the entire year, or even just joined in partway through the year, a genuine thank you, because I, I am not trying to go big with these videos or anything, but I would love to have some people who enjoy watching content I make, and so if you enjoyed watching the content, then that's really cool. I appreciate it. I appreciate the viewership. So thank you for that. Now, at the, at the end of these videos, I always do say at the bottom, thank you for watching, please leave a like and comment. I am sort of just trying to gauge, like, a viewership, like, beyond just the views. Because I, I, I haven't noticed in other people's videos, there's a weird disparity between the number of views and the comments and likes. I don't know what the deal with that is. But, uh, yeah, I mean, if, you, if you've been watching these videos and you've been enjoying them and all that, Go ahead and leave a comment. Like, you, you don't have to say, like, hey, your videos are cool, or you're amazing, or anything like that. Like that. You can just say hi. Just say, hey, how are you? That'd be cool. I would love to see people just 
starting conversations in the comments. We could talk about the videos, talk about anything else, that'd be awesome. Uh, so, I had a resolution at the beginning of this year, and that resolution was, because I'm so occupied with work and the gym recently, and other things, video games, watching YouTube, all that stuff, uh, my resolution was to try and improve and post at least one video, one new video, per week for the entire year. And I succeeded in doing that, I, including this one, including this video right here coming in at the very tail end of the year and the last possible day of the last week. I did it, one video a week per year. I'm gonna make that same resolution going into the next year, so hopefully you stick around. You can enjoy one new video a week, which I know compared to a lot of other people is not all that much, but... And I'm doing the best I can. Hopefully one day we can improve to two or three videos a week, even. As far as current projects go, I suppose, uh, Saints Row 4 with Medium Coke No Ice, that's gonna be wrapping up soon. By the way, this is totally dating the video, I apologize. But that's gonna be wrapping up soon. We've recorded the final stretch of the game. And so once that's done, uh, Mario Kart and, cont and Splatoon are going to continue, though I'm not sure about Splatoon after the final Splatfest in July. We're going to see how many theme ideas I can come up with. Uh, Mario Kart is going to continue for sure, and then I'm going to see if I can start up a solo playthrough of my own. Because I've got a couple of games from my childhood that I loved, that I would love to play through for you guys. But I need to actually get some more, like, get some solo gameplay experience with proper playthroughs before I can feel comfortable doing that. So I've got a couple ideas in mind. We'll see what we can do to uh, start off a solo playthrough for the channel after Saints Row 4 ends. I think that's just about all I had to say. So I'm going to keep inking the screen. Thank you for watching. I hope that if you guys played Splatoon 2, you did play the single player content at, at, all the way through to the end of the story at least. Or if you really liked it, that you went all the way to 1000% like I just did. And if you did, I hope you enjoy all the cool rewards that got you. And if, if you didn't, I still hope you enjoy the game in general. I'm just going to shut up, and I'm going to let the music finish off the video. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in 2019.